on the Igbo class today, we shall be talking on Omenala, which is culture. Please, if you are just joining us for the first time, or if you are yet to click the subscribe button, please do so. It is very, very important that you do so. Thank you so much, and let's proceed with the class. Omenala, culture. Nkowa Omenala, definitions of culture. Enwere iki kowa Omenala nozo di ichiche. Culture can be defined in so many ways, or it can be explained in so many ways. Nka abu fono nkowa ndi mmadu nyere basala Omenala. These are the definitions given by people about culture. We shall take on the definition of Taylor. The definitions of Taylor. Taylor said in the Omenala bumba koto onu nke ihe mmadu motara. Dika akoro nka. Nkwenye na mami ihe igwe mmadu mwekoro. Nke hana aha fenyana ako omoha. Owe sinaka feraka. Ona akowa na Omenala bumba nke ndi nana ha. Nde nana. Na aha fenyana aka omoha. Omoha aha fenyana aka omoha. Owe si etu ana agani iho. Osere na omena alabu mba koto onu nke. Ihe mba de motara. Dika ako oru. Nka. Nkwenye na amami ihe igwe mba de umwe koro. Nke hana aha fenyana aka omoha. Owe sina aka feraka. Ona ako wana omena alabu nke ndi nana. Na aha fenyana aka omoha. Omoha aha fenyana aka omoha. Owe si etu ana agani iho. Taylor said that culture is the sum of what someone learned, such as handwork, mbako onu nke ihe mmade motara, the sum of what someone learned, such as handwork, art, nka, nkwenye belief na mamihe, and the knowledge of group of people, which they transfer to their children of generations to come. What he is trying to explain is that culture are inherited from the forefathers and passed on to the next generation. It is passed on to generation. It is something that it is the sum of what someone learned. It can be handwork, it can be art, it can be belief, it can be knowledge. The summation of all this is what is called culture, according to Taylor. According to Taylor. Clock home. Clock home kuna. Omena alabu kwa. Ihe ni ile. Made motara. Iji chia mwabu. Che kwa bala ma agwa ha. Dike omume. Nkwenye. Ngota. Na mami ihe ha. Ana amota ya amota, obu hiye bumputuwa. Koklo mpuna, omena alabu kwa ihe, ni ile mwade motara. Iji chia, mwabu chia kwa abara magwa ha, diki umume, mkwenye, ngota na amangihe ha. Ana amota ya amota, obu hiye bumputuwa. Clock home, say that culture are those things learned in order to rule or protect their behavior, such as behavior, Belief, understanding, and wisdom. It is learnt and not natural. Culture is learnt. Culture is not inborn. It is not natural. It is something that you learn within the environment that you grow up in through socialization. Lengthen. Lengthi mkuna, omena alabe etu, ndi si eme ihe ha. Etu ha si akba agwa, mkwenye ha, njirimala ha, mke ha na batara mana ha fenye, ha si te na obo obo. Lengthi mkuna, omena alabe etu, ndi si eme ihe ha. Etu ha si akba agwa, mkwenye ha, njirimala ha, mke ha na batara mana ha fenye na, a hafe ha site na obo obo. Lintin say that culture is the people's way of life. 
their characterization, that's their be behaviors, their beliefs, their features, which is generally accepted and passed on ages to ages. This is Lentin's definition of custom or culture. Omena na bihe nche pota di chiche si tere no bi a chikota rano nke meneka otu aburu di chen a aburu ndi ozo. Omena na bihe nche pota di chiche si tere no bi a chikota rano nke meneka otu aburu di chen na aburu ndi ozo. Ihe nka apota la bona omena na bo madu chopota la mahiwe ya. Iji meka ndo na aga nko oma. Na iji wepo ngota he. Na oba agara di iji iche. Nwe li ike pota neti ti mmadu ni ibe ya. Ihe nka apota la bona. Omena anabu mmadu chopota la. Ma hiwe ya. Iji meka ndo na aga nko oma. Na iji wepo ngota he na. Oba agara di iji iche. Nwe li ike pota neti ti mmadu ni ibe ya. Kocho a people's thought from their heart. Which is arranged together. It brings differences between one tribe and another. What this means is that culture is discovered by someone for the better living and to avoid misunderstanding amongst people. This culture is it's a thought from their hearts which they arrange together for a smooth and better living and healthy environment. That is simply what this culture is all about people's way of life people's belief people's the way people should behave the do's and the don'ts and the likes and the dislikes of the community that is what culture is nzimiro se no mena na beetu ndi si emeihe nzimiro se that culture is people's way of doing things the way people do things is culture according to him njirimara omenala that's features of culture Ana amoto mena ala amota, obo hiye bi mputo wa. Kocho is land and not inborn. Kocho is land and not inborn. Ana amoto mena ala amota, obo hiye bi mputo wa. Ana hafe nye, omena ala site na aka utu, obo, gana, obo ozo. It is passed on from generation to generation, from ages to ages, utu obo. One age to another. Omena ala, Nke abu nine abu hiyotu. Omena ala nke abu nine abu hiyotu. The culture of all tribes are not the same. There are cultural differences. It cannot be the same. Na andi mmadu mwere omena ala. Ihe ndi ozo chine ke kere. Enwe hi omena ala. Only humans have culture. Other living things created by God do not have culture. Omena ala otu abu nebi tehe. Nanke aburozo. Culture of one tribe might be similar to that of another. There might be a little similarities. Just like when we treated the origin of the Igbo. We say that um, the Igbo are said to originate from the Jew, Jewish um, ancestors that, that lost their way on their way to the promised land. The reason some authors who believed this story says that the reason why they believe is because the Jewish tradition, the Jewish culture is somehow similar to that of the Igbo's culture. So that is what this is trying to let us know that the culture of one tribe can be similar to that of another. Culture grows and changes. The culture in the olden days is not the same now. There are some changes. The mode of dressing before is not the same now. Before we used to tie animal skin from there, we tie, we started making material, clothing material from um, trees. Then now we start making fabric. So it changes. Omera and our culture dies. When a particular culture is left, it dies. When this Culture is not something that they do steady. When they decide to leave it, it fades away. Urudi no importance of 
ibo kotu. Odi ozuzu anenye uma aka noge bobo nke na abara ha nukuru. No di ni ho ha. Anenye ha ozuzu na akoko ato nke mmota. Obu nke amena ndi nene na nana na akpacha po anya. Ni nye umu ha esi bo ozuzu nu soro mena ala ha. No ga ha. Ni hina odi hi onye acho he ka wun. Mwa ya mba uru. Nezi no lo. No gwe. Na kwa no budo. Udi o zuzwa nene yo maka no ge bo obo nke na abara ha nuku uru. No di ni hu ha. A nene ha o zuzwa na aka ato nke mota. Obo nke amere na. Ndi nene na nana na abacha po anya. Ni nye umu ha ezi bo o zuzwa nu soro o mena ala ha. No ga hu ni hi na. Odi hi onye acho he ka mwa ya ba uru no izi no lo. No gwe na kwa na budo. The kind of home training given to children in the olden days are the ones that will be useful to them in life. They are trained in three different ways of learning. This is why the parents carefully train their children in the cultural way of life because there is no parents who wouldn't want the child to be useful in the family and society. Nkaka Ocho, 1991, Jere Sena, Uru Madu bu nke gbadoro okwu na ode ozuzu enyere ya na kwa eto onya ho se mutadebe usoro obebe ndu nko enye na ome na ala nke na ezi putakwa agwa agboro ahu na batara maka ezi mmekorita mmadu na ibe ya nka aka ocho 1998 jere se na uru mmadu obora nwere ike iba bu nke gbadoro okwu na ode ozuzu enyere ya na kwa eto onya ho se mutadebe usoro obebe ndu nkwe ya nome na ala ha. Nke ni ezi putakwa agwa. Agboro na ahon. Agboro ahon na batara maka. Ezi mekoleta madu ni ibe ha. This is why Ocho 1998 say that for a person to be useful depends on the kind of training given to the person and the extent of the person's knowledge about life, belief and culture which shows the tribe generally accepted behavior for a good association. So that the kind of um training that's for a person to be useful to the society depends on the kind of training given to that person and the essence of the person's knowledge about life about the culture about the belief which shows what they call the tribe the society generally accepts for that person to behave towards that generally accepted way and also to be useful to the society that is what Ocho is trying to let us understand. Ana bo ogu kuna nne na nna gaho na no genile na ha gana azuri to mo ha na kwa ndi nile ha na ha bi na ezi no lo ha di iche iche ni hi na mwata obo la azuri nko oma site na ezi no lo na eji desi ike ezi ozuzo ahu nne na nna ya nye ya ike ebe ha na ebu no bi na akuziri ha na urubi isi na ewe ta ngozi ebe nnu pi isi na ewe ta ndarama ahu kuni ya iru uju Anabuwa wukuru na nende na nana ga ahona no genile na hana ha gana azulito mo hana kwa. Ndini ine hana habi no ezino olo. Ezino olo ha hadi jiche. Ni hena. Mwata obo la azuru mko oma site ne ezino olo na eji desi ike. Ezi ozuzo ahu nende na nana ya nyele ya ike. Ebe hane ebu no obina na akuziri hana irubisi newe tangozi. Ebe nupi isi neweta, mtara maho kona iru uju. Anagwa use that parents should see that all, see that at all time they raise their children and any child living with them in their various home well. Because any child raised well will hold on to those home training given to him or her. Having it in mind that being obedient brings blessing, while disobedient brings suffering and Agon. This is the explanation of Anabog. It's a kind of advice to the parents. Ana akuziri ha ihendia nuzo di ichi chedika ikelendi. Ikelendi oke nandini ile tola ha. Yana inye han sokoro. The children they are taught this in various ways such as greeting and respecting their elders. Ezi omume nye mmadi ibe ha site na akupo. 
ifo ana akuzi ge zo mu menye madi ibe ha site na akuko ifo they are taught good behaviors towards their fellow human through folk story when they are being told folk tales they learn a lot of things from these folk tales they learn obedience they learn how to be of good behavior they learn the benefit of good behavior and the suffering or pain one gets from bad behavior ana akuzi kwara ha igba ngba ugba igba egu they are taught how to wrestle that is igba ngba ugba gymnastic igba egu and dancing through this culture through the cultural socialization they are taught the culture for example nigerian culture nigerians wrestle nigeria engage in gymnastic nigeria engage in dancing so children are taught all these things as part of the culture where they come from ni ko wa ihe gbasara ezi omume school field sena obu soro ezi akpara ma agwa aho putara nka aburu obula na eji isiku omume mmadu obula amuru na na agbura ni ebe school field no Obudo of Namuru Soro, he would teach each a wasara, barama, one mother. In Kehana, he sit in a ya, a wazi, a one mother nile, each make a wa, on your bola, na baburunke or Hanez and Abatra, na make or it a mother nibea. Scofio say na, Obu Soro, easy at barama, a hopotara, in Kabulo bona nagi, a siku, um, mema do a bola mona, bola. That is what he said about this culture. Nebe skofi odo no. Obodo obo na mwari usoro iwu di iti iche basara akbara ma angwa. Mado. Nike hana isi tena ya angwa zi angwa mado ni ile. Iji meka angwa onyo obo la na baburu nke. Pahaneza na batana. Na meka wita mado na ibe ya. In order to explain good behavior. Skofi odo explained that it is a process of good behavior generally accepted by every tribe which is used to direct the behavior of every human or everyone born in that tribe according to Schofield, every community have rules and regulations which is used to direct people's behavior so that everyone can behave in a generally accepted way that is Schofield explanation of good behavior in relation to culture ana akuzi kwara ha usoro akoru di iche iche na usoro achomta akonuba eji mara ndi igbo nke ga eme ka nwata obula nwe akoru ma bu bakwa uru na obodo ana akuzi kwara ha usoro akoru di iche iche na usoro achomta akonuba eji mara ndi igbo nke ga eme ka nwata obula nwe akoru ma bakwa uru na obodo they also taught different handworks and other hustle which the Igbos are known for, so that every child will have a good handwork and be useful to the community. They are taught how to be hustlers, the things that they should do to earn a living, so that they will be able to survive, to avoid stealing and engaging all sorts of bad, bad behaviors in order to survive in the community. And when I call the teacher, I call the teacher, I call the teacher, I call Hagunyere oru ugbo echonta ikpo uzo izu ahia na ndi ozo ga enwere aka oru di iche iche eji mara ndi igbo nke ha na azulite umu ha na umu ha na ime ha hagunyere oru ugbo echonta ikpo uzo izu ahia na ndi ozo there are various handworks which the igbos are known for that the children are taught such as farming hunting blacksmith Ibo, that is, orubo farming, echonta, hunting, ebozo, blacksmithing, izwa here, trade, that is business trade, nandiozo ga etc. Ode defe, kawala konuba, dika, ngwa here di iti iti. Ana aropota nke gunyere mmanu nri roba 
ahu ekere tiekwara mmanu ugbala na ugbelu no otu aka ahu kwa chira si kwa na akonu babu ihe di iche iche ana eme puta iji nyere ndu aka bu ndi gunyere oru ugbo oru aka di iche iche odede fekowa na akonu uba dika ngwa ahia di iche iche ana aru puta nke gunyere mmanu ri roba ahu ekere tinye kwara mmanu ugbala na ugbelu no otu aha aka ahu kwa chira si kwa na akonu babu ihe ndi di iche iche ana eme puta iji nyere ndu aka bu ndi gunyere oru ugbo oru aka di iche iche adede fe explain wealth as different goods produced which comprises of red oil that is mmanu ri roba granite oil ahu ekere or granite ahu ekere tinye kwara mmanu ugbala moto oil na ugbelu aircraft oil on the other hand chira said that wealth are the various things produced to enjoy life which are farm produce different handworks chira kwa na akonu ba bi ihe ndi iche iche ana eme puta iji nyere ndu aka bu ndi gunyere oru ugbo all these things are their explanations of wealth akonu ba ekwu aro sere na ndi igbo nwere otutu uzo di iche iche ha si achunta akonuba nke gunyere igba nta ikpa akwa na oru aka nka di iche iche ekwu aro sere na ndi igbo nwere otutu uzo di iche iche ha si achunta akonuba nke gunyere igba nta ikpa akwa na oru nka di iche iche ekwu aro se that igbo have different ways of hustling for wealth which consist of hunting cloth making making that is igba akwa an other work of art noro nka di iche iche ana azurite kwu ma aka na uzo ime ka ha buru ndi ga agbasi ike na okpokpo ahu ana azurite kwa ma aka na uzo ime ka ha buru ndi ga agbasi ike na okpokpo ahu ana eme nka site na ikuziri ha ihe ndi dika igba ngba igbu mmiri igba egwu iwudo itu ugba na ndi ozo they also raise children in a way that their skin will be strong igbasike na akpukpa ahu akpukpa ahu means skin igbasike means to be strong these are done by teaching them wrestling ana eme nka site na ikuziri ha ihe ndi adike igwa ngba wrestling igwu mmiri swimming igwa egwu dancing iwudo skipping itugwa gymnastic na ihe ndi ozo etc children are taught this to make them their bone and their skin to be strong so we shall call it a day here today on our next class we shall be discussing on another topic please please i beg of you if you have not subscribed to this channel please click the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel please it is very very important that you do so if you have any question drop your question on the comment section or you can follow our page on facebook at ibolo